Today I'm going to show you how to build an EXS24 kit from raw samples. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need for this is some samples and there's some fabulous free samples available from a company called Gold Baby. So if you do a Google search for Gold Baby, you'll actually see that Google even has a direct link to their free stuff page. So let's go straight there. And they've got this new tape Vermona kit, which uh, I must admit I haven't heard yet, so let's have a play with that one. So we'll get that downloading. While that's messing about, we'll just... Okay, click here to start download. And let's just get a Logic song up and running while that's working. So we'll do a new arrangement. Uh, we just need an empty project. And we'll create a software instrument we don't want to open library and we'll load up any access 24 okay uh, so the first thing you need to do is click on the edit button here in the top right hand corner of the access 24 window okay got a new access 24 and as you can see it's completely blank no samples loaded none of the keys make any sound at all so let's start loading some samples. Okay, we can quit Safari now because we don't need that anymore. And if we open our downloads folder, we should see the tape Vermona kit there. Yep, and we'll just drag that out onto our desktop so it's easy to find. Okay, back to Logic. Just bring that window to the front. So the first thing we need to do is create a new zone, which you do under the zone menus here at the top of the screen. So zone, new zone, and we're going to call this one kick. Double click in the box and then type in the name you want. Let's get rid of the rest of that stuff there. And now we need to load an audio file, which we do under the audio file list here. And you've got a triangle in the right hand corner of that list, which if you click on, you bring up the load audio sample. So let's fire away. Okay, and we'll browse to our tape Vermona kit and into the samples okay uh, lots and lots of samples um, they're pretty good about naming their samples so they're quite clear which ones are these BDs are going to be bass drums SDs snares HHs hi-hats uh, CYM cymbals cowbells claves lots and lots of stuff there so let's have a listen to some kick drums and choose one we like so if you select a kick drum then press play to audition it and you can just click through that whole list auditioning I actually just like the second one down. So we'll load that, uh, which we go to open. Now we've got that sample spread across the whole of our key range for the whole of our EXS24 instrument. Which is kind of useful as a special effect, but not that useful for programming a beat. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is disable the pitch, which is here under this playback list. So pitch, click that off. Now we've got the sample playing back at the right uh, pitch on every key, but it is on every key, and we really only need it on one. So there's three ways to change the key range. Uh, the first is you can type straight into the box here. So if you type C and then 1 and enter, you can see that the end of the bar changed there to denote that it's just on the C1 key. And we've got nothing on the keys below it. And then with the high range, if we click and hold, you can see you're getting these small grey up and down arrows here. So we can actually drag it down, bringing it in that way. Or the third and final way of doing it is to click on the end of the grey bar here. Once the cursor changes shape, you can just drag it down. So we've got our kick just on C1, which is the key C in the first octave. And lots of space for loading up other samples. Let's put a snare in quickly. So again, new zone double click to name it and load a sample load audio sample let's go down and have a listen to some of these SD snare drums again select it then press the play key okay we'll just load that one they're all pretty similar sounding those and again, we've got the same problem as before. Snares on every key on the whole keyboard, all playing back at lots of different pitches. So same process as last time. Narrow the key range down. And we're going to put this on E1. And 
and let's just type the value in this time it's a bit quicker so we've now got our kick and snare uh, but we haven't disabled the pitch for the snare so we'll disable the pitch and while we're here we'll make them both one shots uh, a one shot is a sample that just plays once for each time you trigger it rather than going around in a loop so we've got our kick and snare now and because we've done a little bit of work we'll have a save so under instrument we do save as and we need to give it a name so we're going to call this gold baby kit and save okay that's the end of part one